Hello friends, my name is Moneyness, and I was recently at Y'all Fest. I did take some video, but not enough to do a proper vlog, I don't think, so I'm actually gonna put that in an end of the month document your life kind of video. There were also a lot of collabs going on. I was actually meant to do some with Between Chapters, Why Mermaids, Book Chats, Little Word Weaver, and Kayla Rain, but I crapped out on them. While I didn't get any collab video for myself, I was able to be in some other collabs, so I will link those down below so you can check them out. In one of them I'm eating disgusting jelly beans and in another I'm being awful at apples to apples. So you know, things to look forward to. While I was at Y'all Fest I talked to a lot of different people about a lot of different things and as always happens with these events I came back very inspired. One of the topics of conversation was actually hauls at one point. We were talking about some people's negative opinions on hauls even though for everybody present in that conversation hauls tended to be our most popular videos. I think this tends to be for bigger booktubers too and people who haul more frequently and a lot more stuff than I do and the entire perception of collecting or hauling more than you read or the materialistic nature of, you know, having all these books and acquiring more. I'm not really here to give you my thoughts on hauls. I mean, I like them and I do them quarterly and I love talking to you guys about the things that I've acquired and why I've acquired them, but it really got me thinking about what I have on my shelf. I always start my haul videos by talking about my book buying rules. You guys know that I'm primarily a library user. If I can't find a book I want to read at the public library, I buy it for my Kindle. And if I love a book I've read on my Kindle or that I've gotten through the public library, I will buy a physical copy for my shelves. Of course, I sometimes break those rules and I think in the time that I've joined booktube, I joined booktube officially around March, I've purchased so many more books than I was accustomed to and I think that is a combination of making books and this entire project a priority and also being exposed to more things. You guys do a really great job at keeping me interested and informed and showing me all the latest and greatest things that are out there. Plus, I'm also really reading a lot more than I've read in previous years. All that said, I wanted to take an inventory of what's left unread on my shelves. This is not going to include any books that I have but haven't hauled yet, so in reality this list is a little bit longer, but we'll wait for the haul to show you those books and I'll mention them, the ones that are unread at that point. In this first category of unread books is book outlet books. When I first discovered book outlet, I kind of went a little bit crazy in those first two orders because I thought, look at how cheap, they're practically free. Where'd you go? Bernadette by Maria Semple, Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick, The Spindlers by Lauren Oliver, Serafina by Rachel Hartman, The Screwtape Letters by C.S. Lewis, and Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. In this next category I have books that I just bought outright, things I saw and said I want you and bought them and have never read. Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb, even though I did technically start this and just couldn't get into the beginning, I fully intend to read this because I know people People really rave about books later in the series but you've got to get through this first trilogy to make it to the better stuff so I'ma do it. I just couldn't when I originally picked this up. I See You Everywhere by Julia Glass. I've had this book for so long. I think I originally bought it in 2009 I want to say. I don't know why or where or what inspired me but I've never read it. The Chimes by Anna Smale and The Chimes by Anna Smale. So I bought these because they were long listed for the Man Booker Prize and I wanted to read it. I actually bought one, it got lost in the mail, so Book Depository sent me another, but then they both came. Rooms by Lauren Oliver. I will buy pretty much anything that Lauren Oliver writes, but I won't read it all one day. The Search for Wandla by Tony Ditter Lizzie. So at the beginning of this year, I did a thing where I told myself that I could go through books that I was anticipating and pre-order a bunch of them, things that I felt that I super, super wanted. And that experiment turned out to be not so great because I didn't read four of them and the fifth one I read and hated. The one that I read and hated was A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas, which the one good thing that came out of it was that it that's like one of my favorite review videos that I've ever made. Also, Monstrous by Marcy Kate Connolly, An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I actually read a large portion of this. I only have 200 pages left towards the end. I'm gonna be buddy reading this in December to see if I can get through it. The Wrath in the Dawn by Rene Actier. I actually got to meet her very briefly at Y'all Fest and I saw her on a panel and she is just absolutely lovely. It made me want to give this another try. 
and Vanishing Girls by Lauren Oliver because I told you I will buy everything that she writes. This final category of books are Gifts and Arcs, Maybe One Day by Melissa Cantor. This is an arc. Ascenders by C.L. Gable. This author was kind enough to provide copies of her book to my YA book club, but I just haven't read this yet. Red Rising and Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. I bought these with gift card money for my birthday, so I consider them gifts. The Accident Season by Moira Fowley Doyle. The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. My sister read this and after she finished reading it, she was like, you like books, right? An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. This came in a set of John Green books that somebody gifted me, but I've never read this one. Naked by David Sedaris. I got this in a book swap at VidCon this year. The Wrong Side of Right by Jen Marie Thorne. I was sent this book for review. Flight by Charlene Moncrief, which I was also sent for review. Clariel by Garth Nix, which the people at Epic Reads were giving out at VidCon this year. And Newt's Emerald by Garth Nix, which I also got at the VidCon book swap. I also have here Station 11 by Emily St. John Mandel, but since pulling these books off my shelf to make this video, I've started reading this and I'm actually about 60% through, so this will soon be off that list. That's 26 books, not counting the ones that I bought in October and November, and I'm pretty okay with that number. There are a lot of things here that I would like to give a try, but I are just not priority, and I'm not quite ready to unhaul any of these, so if there are any on my list that you feel very passionately about that you think that I should pick up as soon as possible, please let me know down in the comments. I'm gathering myself after this trip and just some more work stuff and school stuff so hopefully as I say a lot on this channel you will see videos a little more frequently through the end of the year. I do have a haul for you guys coming up. I usually do them quarterly but I bought so many books um, in October and you'll see why that I it won't fit into one haul so I'm doing a part one quarter four haul soon. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys soon.